The third generation of AMD Ryzen CPUs are here, and with them, a new generation of ROG motherboards. This is the ROG Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi. Now this motherboard is going to give you all the tools you need to build a gaming computer that's both a beauty and a beast. The Hero is made to be a perfect match for the amazing performance of the third gen AMD Ryzen CPU with ridiculously overspec power delivery. The VRM is composed of 16 IR3555 POW IR stages, each with a 60 amp rating. Accompanying each stage is a microfine alloy choke and capacitor. The Hero features OptiMem 3, so you can get the most out of your memory. OptiMem technology allows you to run your memory at lower latencies, reduced voltages, and operate at higher frequencies. Tuning memory allows you to overclock the performance up to 4800 MHz. With the increased power of the new Ryzen CPUs, there also comes a rise in heat. So to combat this, the Hero has plenty of built-in cooling features. We collaborated with Delta to create a custom Superflow chipset fan with a 60,000 plus hour lifespan. It has specially designed air ducts to help the fan generate more static pressure and focus air over the heatsink. The heatsink is designed with more fins that create more surface area to dissipate heat. The VRM heatsink connects to the IO heatsink with an integrated heat pipe. This increases its overall mass and surface area. And we haven't forgotten about the M.2s. There are dual M.2 heatsinks to protect you from any throttling that may occur from excessive temperatures. The purpose of these features is to give you more headroom when overclocking, and with five-way optimization, overclocking is easier than ever. With one click, you'll get an optimized, stable overclock that's based on the components in your system. There is support for multiple GPUs with either SLI or Crossfire, and two of the PCIe slots feature ASUS Safe Slot technology. These are reinforced PCIe slots to keep your GPU safe from stress and damage due to card sag. There are dual PCIe M.2 sockets that provide NVMe SSD RAID support for increased storage performance. The Hero also features built-in Wi-Fi 6 with multiple user, multiple input, multiple output support. This gives you faster network speeds, wider network capacity, and stronger performance overall. If you want a wired connection, there's a Realtek 2.5G LAN port and the latest Intel Ethernet. The included Game First 5 software ensures you get a strong and steady connection when it really counts, while you're gaming. Game First technology works by prioritizing your gaming traffic over all other traffic on the network to give you a fast, lag-free experience. The Crosshair 8 Hero also features a built-in rear I.O. panel to make installation incredibly easy. There are multiple lighting zones on the motherboard that you can customize in both color and lighting pattern. And with the Armory Crate software, you can sync the color with all of your other ROG components. Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, I want to give you a quick look at the Tough X470 Plus Gaming Motherboard. 
Tough Gaming Series motherboards are built using military-grade TUF capacitors, MOSFETs, and ESD guards to ensure long-lasting reliability and stability in your gaming system. The TUF X470 Plus Gaming is a great foundation for any first-time AMD system builders, yet it still includes many features that seasoned pros will appreciate. It uses the AM4 socket so it's compatible with all first and second generation Ryzen processors as well as many 7th generation A-series and Athlon X4 CPUs. It supports up to 64GB of DDR4 memory at up to 3200MHz when you're using a Ryzen CPU. It features an ASUS Safe Slot PCIe X16 slot to support heavier graphics cards with better retention and shearing resistance. It features dual M.2 sockets to support the latest NVMe SSDs. Now, helping to keep things cool are the five four-pin fan headers, including a dedicated all-in-one pump header. Now, all of the fans can be controlled and monitored through our Fan Expert 4 software. Now, this will give you the best combination of low noise and high performance. The Tough Gaming logo is RGB LED backlit, and there's also an RGB LED header for additional LED accessories, all of which can be controlled through our AuraSync software. Audio is powered by a Realtek ALC887 VD2 8-channel high-definition audio codec. On the rear of the board, you'll find a PS2 keyboard and mouse combo port, two USB 2.0 ports, DVI, one USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C connection, HDMI, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 and two USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A ports, a Realtek Gigabit LAN, and our standard audio jacks. What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I have something very exciting to show you guys. This is the brand new X570 Aorus Master. This is the latest motherboard that we have in 2019. In today's video, I'm gonna take this out of the box and show you guys exactly what this motherboard is all about. So let's start this off by taking the motherboard out of the box. And just to catch you guys up to speed, this is the brand new X570 motherboards that are designed for the new Ryzen 3000 series processors. This one in specific is the X570 Aorus Master. This is our more higher end X570 board. This is probably gonna be one of the best selling boards out there on the market because we have so much features, design, and performance put into this package that I think it's a great overall package. But before we talk more about the motherboard, I'm gonna set this aside over here and talk about what else comes inside the box. So let's put this off over to the side and try to dig in over here. And what do we get? We get our usual paperwork and instruction manuals. Let's see what else we're gonna get in here. Extra cables, good for us. It's always nice to have. Um, also, you're going to get a Wi-Fi antenna. I'm going to talk more about this board once we get into the deep dive of that. Wi-Fi is actually really exciting to talk about for this generation. Additional SATA cables, you can expect that. And also something that I want to point out is we include this nice Gigabyte G connector. So what G connector is, is that, uh, you know, when you install your motherboard to your PC and then you're trying to connect all your front cable connectors, you connect them to the G connector and this just neatly plugs into your motherboard so it makes it a lot easier for you. Velcro cable ties, extra standoff screws, all that kind of stuff, extra additional cables, RGB cables, and most importantly, you're gonna get additional Aura stickers, a whole bunch of them as well. So all these accessories, I'm gonna toss them back in the box and put them aside. We're gonna talk about what you guys came here for, which is the master motherboard. Okay, so let's move over to the star of the show, the X570 Aorus Master. And there's a ton of things to talk about on this board. Um, I guess let's talk about design. You guys can clearly see for X570, we've completely redesigned our board. So we took away the orange. We heard you guys, you guys don't like orange. So we went with a very flat black, silver, and gray color scheme. In my opinion, this thing looks really nice, really modern and it looks good for 2019. So the reason why we went with this new color scheme is because it's a lot more color neutral. So regardless of whether you're making a white, a black, a red, or whatever color you're trying to go for, this motherboard will fit in perfectly inside your PC. Also, when it comes to design, you can notice back here, we have an integrated IO port. I'm gonna talk more about the IO in just a bit. Okay, so moving over to the back, you can see we have a full 
Aorus backplate. This is to add extra rigidity and protection to your motherboard because for Aorus, we believe if you're spending this amount of money on the motherboard, you deserve the best quality that Aorus can provide. Let's move over back up front and talk about some of the features that you get on this motherboard. First one I want to point out is the VRM design on this. We have a direct 14 phase VRM on this motherboard. This is really high end stuff. So for those of you who are considering to pick up this motherboard, just know that you'll be taken care of when it comes to the power delivery and overclocking department with your motherboard. Also related to that, you're gonna see the return of the Aorus Thin Array Heatsink. This thing first made its appearance with the Aorus X470 series. But for X570, we took that design and we've upgraded it. You're gonna see a better heat pipe design, as well as you're gonna see bigger thermal pads on the motherboard. So that's gonna deliver a better all overall cooling solution for the X570 Aorus Master. Okay, so the next big feature that I wanna talk about is a really exciting one, PCI Express 4.0. So in the future, you're gonna see more PCIe 4 SSDs, PCIe 4 graphics cards, and this board right here, the X570 Aorus Master, is designed to handle all those faster speeds that are gonna be coming out very soon. Okay, so the next big leap in features is gonna be the inclusion of Wi-Fi 6. So the Aorus X570 Aorus Master adopts the new 802.11ax standard. So if you pair this motherboard with the AX compatible router, you're gonna get much faster transfer speeds than you were previously. Also related to connectivity, you're gonna see back here, you're gonna see inclusion of dual LAN. So you have your standard uh, gigabit ethernet LAN, but you're gonna see Realtek 2.5 gigabit ethernet LAN on here. So that's just gonna be nice when compared with that Wi-Fi technology, you're gonna be covered when it comes to connectivity. Also a new thing that I wanna point out is the inclusion of an upgraded ESS Sabre DAC. So this one specifically is the ESS Sabre 9118. So pretty much with this board, you're gonna get a overall better sound experience compared to previous generations. So if you are big into music, if you're big into watching movies or playing games, just know that the Aorus X570 Aorus Master has you taken care of in that department. Okay, so let's start off by doing a unboxing of this. Okay, let's... Dude, look at this box, it's so crazy. Such a nice packaging. Premium packaging for a premium product. Let's set this aside. Oh, dude, check this out. This is what we're looking after today. So, check this out. See how big this thing is? You guys can't feel it, but trust me, dude, this thing is super heavy. Okay, but we're gonna set this aside for just a couple minutes. We're gonna go more about what's inside the box, and then we're gonna come revisit the motherboard. Oh man, what are we gonna get here? Oh, stickers, of course. Can't forget their stickers. You're gonna have your usual array of paperwork. Okay, so something else you're gonna get inside the box. Ooh, interesting. This is the Aorus RGB Fan Commander. You guys might have seen it before, but if you guys haven't, let me quickly explain what this thing's all about. This thing right here is kind of like a, a hub. So you're gonna connect all of your uh, fans, your RGB strips into here, and this thing connects to your motherboard via USB and basically controls everything. So again, we include this inside the box with the X570 Aorus Extreme, so it's a nice bonus that you get when you're picking up this motherboard. If you guys wanna find out more information about this thing right here, um, let us know in the comments below. We can always do some more follow-up videos on this and talk to you guys exactly about what that's all about. Okay, check this out. Cables, a plenty. So you're gonna get your RGB cables, additional SATA cables, uh, Wi-Fi antenna, Wi-Fi antenna, Velcro ties, additional screws and standards. Oh, hey, nice, USB flash drive. We'll include this in the box now with the X570 Aorus Master. Don't miss on this one. And yeah, that was quickly putting all this aside. Oh, can't forget, Gigabyte G connector. Basically, you connect all your front panel connectors to here. This goes to the motherboard, super nice and easy. Okay, so that's it when it comes to the accessories. Uh, the trouble is how we're gonna clean this up. I know what to do. Oh, dude, Thanos would be proud. Anyways, let's move over to the main star of the show, X570 Aorus Extreme. And dude, I'm having a workout just by holding this. Main reason being, you guys can see, this is an EATX motherboard. And you can see how much heat sinks are on here. First up, yeah, I wanna talk about heat sinks. So pretty much this thing is a gigantic heat sink. Front, 
and back. So because of that, we really wanted to focus on the cooling aspect of this motherboard. So when it comes to cooling, let's break down some of the biggest cooling components on here. First one being the heat sinks. So we have a thin array heat sink. Again, this is upgraded for X570 generation. So it's new and improved. You're gonna get a very large heat pipe running across and down to the board. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that thing is absolutely crazy. Once you get down here, pretty much a gigantic slab of metal. Again, this is used for heat dissipation. Basically, it's gonna cover your M.2 slots. It's gonna cover the chipset area. It's gonna cover the side area over here. And we're gonna continue over to the back. And again, this whole thing right here, it's a back plate, yes, but it's also helping with heat dissipation on this platform. The reason why we wanted to focus so much on heat dissipation is because on this motherboard, we put a direct 16 phase power design on here. So that's absolutely crazy. If you're looking to pick up the new Ryzen 3000 series processor and you're looking to push it via overclocking, um, pushing to do uh, liquid cooling or, or whatever it is you wanna do, this board is basically gonna be the best option for you when it comes to that type of stuff. So probably by now, at this point in the video, you guys are probably in awe of the design. So I'm gonna add a little bit of an extra thing for you guys. I'm gonna plug in this very nice and convenient RGB cable. Show you guys what it looks like when it's lit up. And check it out. So we have RGB Fusion 2.0 lighting on here. So again, this syncs with your Aorus graphics cards, your Aorus RAM, your Aorus CPU coolers, mice, keyboards, whatever you call it, Aorus it syncs up with our whole ecosystem. And something that I also wanna point out is for this generation, X570, the design, we've completely redesigned it. So now it's a very flat black and silver color scheme. It's a very neutral color scheme. So whatever build you're trying to go for, red, white, black, blue, this motherboard right here pretty much goes perfectly with those colors. Another thing I wanna talk about is if I shift it over to this side right here. So you can see, all 90 degree connectors over here because this is an EATX board. Um, we did design this this way because it's easier to install into your PC, easier to plug in all the cables that you need. Okay, so let's flip this board around 180 and talk about IO. Like many other Aorus motherboards, this one's gonna come with an integrated IO shield, nice extra touch. Also, if you take a closer look, you're gonna see lots and lots of connectivity. USB, USB 3.0, USB 3.1 Gen 2, USB Type-C on the back, and a header for USB-C on the front as well. Also, when we're taking a look at the back, you're gonna see the inclusion of two LAN ports. Your standard gigabit ethernet LAN port, but you're gonna get the addition of a 10 gigabit ethernet LAN from Aquantia. So this is a really nice touch, especially if you're gonna buy a flagship motherboard. Also, this thing includes Wi-Fi 6 technology. This is the latest generation in Wi-Fi. So if you pair this with a compatible AX motherboard, you're gonna get upgraded speeds and it's gonna be really nice to help future-proof whatever setup you're trying to do. Another big thing I wanna point out on this motherboard is the audio solution. So this one, you're gonna get an upgraded ESS9218 DAC. Basically, this is gonna deliver better audio quality for your PC. So if you're looking to play games, if you're looking to watch the most immersive movies, or if you're looking to do music production, it's nice to know that you don't have to buy an external sound card because this motherboard has it built in. Also, like all other X570 Aorus motherboards, you're gonna see the inclusion of PCI Express 4.0 on here. So you're gonna get the next generation of connectivity. So PCIe 4 SSDs, which Aorus also makes. You get PCIe 4 graphics cards, which will come, and it's gonna work perfectly with this motherboard. So again, this is kind of the latest generation of technologies. Pretty much everything new is on this board. Everything that you need is on the X570 Aorus Extreme. So who should consider purchasing this motherboard? Well, if you are a really big overclocker, if you're a big enthusiast, if you're planning to push your PC to do maximum rendering, maximum gameplay performance, this extreme motherboard right here is gonna be a great platform for you to use.